Yo, what's cracking, guys? You read that title correctly. We're back to No Naked. I'm pumped. There is a lot of 90 Day Fiance content I have to catch up on. So we're going to start off with something that we need no context for. Here's the context. Big Ed tells Big Ed. Wait, everybody doesn't call him No Neck Ed? I thought that was his name. Like, not his legal birth name. You'll see why I call him No Neck Ed, because he has uh, the biggest neck. His whole body's a neck, which means he technically doesn't have one. Uh, Big Ed tells Rose her breath smells not pretty. This was posted one day ago. It's from their series 90 Day Fiance Before the 90 Days, if that helps. I've probably made over 500 episodes on 90 Day Fiance. Never seen the show once. And I don't watch these before I talk shit about them. Obviously. If you don't know who No Neck Ed is or Rose or me, you'll find out. Let's just hop right into this shit. Bruh, how you get to her breath stinks in a place that doesn't sell toothpaste? If you live in front of your store that sells sandals in a third world country, brushing your teeth probably isn't the biggest problem. Yeah, glad I got to read all of that. Bye, Prince. Come here. Can I have a hug? Okay. To who? They're married, right? Like, I, I, I don't watch this shit. Wait, this is this old bitch. I smoke during every episode I make. Okay. Yeah, he's got a... Uh, he's married to a new woman that he keeps calling a lesbian. But he won't stop thinking she's cheating on him with a woman. They broke up, yeah? Or is this the new... Uh, you know, it's funnier if I don't know. I don't give a fuck. It's kind of funny. She's like, here's your dad for like three months. The kid's not going to know if this is a real memory or a dream. He's like, there's no way I had a white dad with no neck. I know you'll miss your mommy. I've been in the Philippines for five days, and I've been in Rose's village for the last 24 hours. And now Rose and I, we're going on vacation. Don't worry, okay? You're in good hands. Maria's going to take good care of you. Okay, buddy? You know what that sounds like to that kid? Ah, wah, 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 wah. You might as well just pretend to do sign language. I'm a little bit sad for Prince. But after staying here the night and seeing how she lives, I need some alone time with Rose so I can figure out if her feelings are really real for me. She's living in a tin metal shack. You know what's easier to do than living in that shack? Lie. You know who's the easiest people to lie to? Men. Have you been to a strip club? Guys are like, this chick likes me. If you're a stripper and you use a real name and you like kind of sell it that it's your real one, be like, oops, I wasn't supposed to tell you my name's Amanda. I've literally heard a stand-up comedian go, yeah, she accidentally told me her real name. I'm like, that could also be a fake name. That bitch is playing 3D chess. I would, I would argue actually a lot of strippers are probably really intelligent. Like it's a fitness job, but it's also a very conversational job. That's why I like strip clubs. I, I love naked chicks. Boobs are fantastic. Probably my favorite thing, actually. But they have to talk to us. They have to. It's their job. And I love talking about myself. Tits in a conversation? Who needs a lap dance? This shit's gay. $40 a song, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Except one offered me a hand job during a lap dance, and I was like, that's not even possible. For free, though? And she was like, yeah. I was like, <laughs> can't really argue with that sales tactic. In her mind, she's probably like, ah, oh, he's going to buy more dances. Nope. I bring $40 to the strip club in ones and I fold it. And I'm not just, you know, a way for her and her son to get out of the Philippines. Let's go. Say bye-bye to my sister. Thank you. Bye. Good luck. Say goodbye to my sister. Hey, even though they don't speak your language, they know what facial expressions are, asshole. Hmm, does she love no neck ed or does she love making and selling fake filas? Who's buying this? I decided not to confront Maria about how she asked me for money and asked me not to tell Rose. I think. Please tell me you told Rose. Right. Why would you not tell your bitch that? 
especially if they say don't tell them. It's like, okay, there's something going on here. To me, at least a relationship is like, if you tell me something, I'm going to tell them and my best friend. And I might tell the story on YouTube and on stage. I don't know. I think it's important that I talk to Rose first because I need to find out whether she had anything to do with it. I did have that thought right away. I was like, I wonder if she told her to ask him because she doesn't want to ask him. But you think this fucking schmuck is good at picking up deception? I'll make a fake Instagram right now and fuck this guy. Bye-bye. Thank you again. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I'm sad because I live again to my son, but I decided to go with Ed because I want to build a, a strong relationship. Uh-huh, yeah, bitch. All right. The people who are going to have you guys go through the visa process are just going to see that talking head interview and be like, nope. Guess who's going back to eating dogs? Okay, I don't know if they eat dogs over there, but I do know that she is not licensed by Hello Kitty. She's getting sued. So my son and I can be with Ed to America. You see how she said nothing about how she likes or loves him at all? And it's so her and her son could go where? Oh, America? The greatest goddamn place on earth. <laughs> where else can I get my grocery shopping done and my ammunition? Yeah, and you know what? We might have a problem. But I read that the ammunition is not returnable. I don't own a gun. I just read that for some reason. And I was like, I, I wonder when they enacted that. Like, did a guy come up with like three shells missing? He's like, I lost them. Please take these back. Glad they showed that. Forgot what it was like to drive to the fucking airport. So she's never flown before. Her first time in an airplane. Does so she have a window seat? Imagine being that TSA agent. This is her first time flying. Yeah, buddy, hey, I don't give a shit. Oh, she wants a window seat? You're going to be both not sitting together now? And you're both going to be in the middle. Suck a dick. Bro, if I ever date a woman, she better not show visible excitement about a window seat on an airplane. You know what? That's probably that's a good test for me. You know what I'm gonna do? Go on a trip with a bitch. For my endearment, I'm not calling her bitch. It's a, I grew up on NWA. My uncle gave me a CD in fifth grade. Okay, what I'm gonna do is keep the window closed the whole time. She goes, "Can you open the window? I really want to see how they go." Nah, I'm trying to not. And just see where it goes. <laughs> and she's like, that's fine. And she's like, fucking you're ruining my trip. I was so excited. Here you go. We're going on our first flight. Oh my God. Are you excited? Yeah. I was never this excited to go on an airplane. When I was like eight years old, when my parents took me to Disney World for the first time. First and multiple times I've went, it's because they love me. She's really setting herself up for disappointment here. Because you know it's fun when the airplane starts going fast, and then you go up, and then it's scary. Because then there's turbulence, and you're like, you know, I don't know how much of this this thing can take. I'm in a flying 500 mile an hour cylinder with anxiety. And you know what I found out? First class doesn't help. Because guess what? You're still on a fucking airplane. We are going to the island of... Palawan. Wow, that sounds cheap. And I'm so excited. White beaches, warm ocean water, no more rain. White beaches, wow, they are not progressive. Things haven't been segregated here for a while. Rose is allowed there? She's really towing the line. Or maybe the yellow beach is like right next to it. <laughs> oh my God, here we go. Hi, I'm so excited. Oh, it just hit me that her breath smells Oh my God, on an airplane? That would be a bad predicament because that means her breath has smelled before, but this is the only time I'd say something. I'd be like, hey, babe, yeah, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. All right, I'm gonna need you to pop one of these mints every hour on the hour. It's for both of our safety. If your ears get stuffy, just just kind of keep popping your jaw and go like this. <laughs> Yeah, do that like a fucking retard. Don't chew bubble gum. I almost replicated the face he made, but I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna stoop that low. I'm not that wacky. I almost did it again. 
you're so sweet. I'm my lipstick. <laughs> I like your lipstick. Okay. That was your first dinner on an airplane. Oh, wow. The same dinner I had in my dorm room at college. Nice. Hot water and sodium. And doesn't No Not Get kind of look like a sleazy car salesman with that slick back hair? Like he'd just like waddle up to the car that you're at and he'd be like, 5000 off. How about that? Mazal. Yeah, this is my first dinner, so I like this. My first dinner, you know, I know this. Out. Oh my god, you ready? We're gonna land. Oh my god, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> I literally just had a laughing fit over the idea of the 9-11 bit. My dream for this trip is that Rose and I grow closer together. I want to propose to Rose, but I can't have any doubts about her. That's something you shouldn't say about your significant other. Are you just looking for doubts? I love that they're not together anymore. He's like, I'm going to propose. They're not together, right? He's with that other bitch, the lesbian, the girl who's way better looking than her. This is the biggest decision I will ever make in my life. Doesn't he have a kid? I have a hunch that this guy was married before. This supersedes the last time you made this shitty decision? Hmm. I'd argue it's even dumber the second time around. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real with you. This looks like a terrible fucking time. Weather's not even that nice right now. It seems pretty windy. Wow, mountains. Ooh, look, sand, the beach. I've seen the ocean one time. Good enough for me. I just saw those mountains. I don't need to go there. I'm very boring. Like, I don't need to see the Eiffel Tower. I've seen it. Good morning. Did you sleep good? Holy shit. Oh, ooh. thought that was my sleep paralysis demon. So imagine that in the corner of your room. Did you sleep well? I was. And then I'd fuck them. Doesn't add up because sleep paralysis, but I would. Also, I wonder how long they're staying there because this is like only fun for like if you're leaving the third day. After three days, you're like, I gotta stay in this fucking room. I can't even pace in here. Well, to be fair, no night guide could pace in a bathroom. Yeah. How about you? Me? Good. Oh, my God. Where are we? Palawan. Oh, my God. So, um, I got some surprises. I just got to point out how he sounded like the bitch there. Oh, my God. Where are we? Shut up, bitch. You know where we are. I see you letting your hair down. You look ugly. For you? Really? Can I show you? Sure. It's a child. I stole this one. How, how do I turn it on? This, I think this might be a dead baby. Don't look. No look, okay? Hope you like. <laughs> so this goes on top. <laughs> and then this. So this is for outdoors. Okay. Weird. With any of my past exes, I would never know what bathing suit to buy them. Whichever one shows the most tits. I, like, well, are we sw where are we swimming? Because I don't live by a beach. If we're going in a pool, we don't need a bathing suit. I do. I, do, I also need a swim shirt because I look like no neck Ed. But I have a very deep feeling, and I also might have saw a little bit of lingerie that he's going to present lingerie. Time to ruin my erection. Okay. The swimming pool. And then, big surprise. She's supposed to surprise you with the lingerie, you fucking idiot. What is that for? It's called a teddy. 
That was the gayest shit I've heard this month. And I've seen Dilf Manor. My dog is named Teddy. This is also called Teddy. Rose and I have only made love once, so being intimate is still quite new for us. So you jumped straight to lingerie. Yeah, seems like you know her really well. I couldn't imagine what I'd do if I go, lingerie, and she goes, what's that for? What, are you from a third world country? Yeah, come to think of it, they don't, like, they don't have lingerie there. Like, There's no need for that. They're trying to survive. This bitch slinging filas. But all in all, I think Rose and I have good- Look at how creepy this pudgy little cunt is. This sweet little dumpling. God, I just want to hate fuck him. Good chemistry. I brought along a couple presents from home. So I think now is the time to give her her lingerie. You want to try that on now? <laughs> That's how you know there's an awkward feeling in the room right there, because I felt it. No, and then she like made fun of her noise. Hey, you want to try that on now on international television? Also, how did he know the size of her tits? I mean, she doesn't have any, so maybe that's how. Yeah, do you guys have any lingerie that would fit a man? A, a small man. Are you nervous? Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay. When I gave me a lingerie, I feel shocked because I don't know how to wear it. it. You, you guys are smart, right? Engineer. Coding software. You can't figure out how to put on a one piece. Men have figured out how to undo bras with one hand. You've got this. But we still can't find the clitoris. I heard it's a myth. Because this is the first time to say it like this. I got a couple more things. Sure. Okay, so. Okay, so this is an alien dildo, okay? When I press a button, it lays an egg inside of you. And this is for if you don't comply. Are you nervous? Why am I having good trigger discipline? Story time. First time I ever held a real gun in high school, I pointed at my friend and went pew pew. And the owner of the gun was like, what the fuck are you doing? I was like, I don't know. Call of Duty. I... He was like, it could have been loaded. I was like, why would you hand me a loaded gun? This is going to be less romantic. Less romantic than this? Right here? No. Impossible. It's the cardboard crown from Burger King. He's like, you're gonna love this. So this is um, mouthwash. And I got you a cute toothbrush. I forgot the title of this episode. I completely forgot he had to tell her that she has bad breath. I didn't think he could actually worsen the conversation. This guy is an anomaly. I bet you he's only alive, like as if there hasn't been people who've wanted to kill him, but they're like, I'd rather him just keep suffering. There was such an easier way. You could have finagled some fucking toothpaste into her mouth, dog. And it's not while she's sleeping. You go, hey, look, I got us a travel set for the hotel room. This is typically what we pack in America. Here's my tiny toothbrush, shampoo, conditioner, even though they have it here. But I brought my shampoo from the last time I stayed in the hotel five years ago. I'm going to take that new shampoo for home. And this is your stuff. You have six toothbrushes. This your breath is not... Um, it's pretty. I don't think this has ever happened before, ever in the human race, ever. This dude is a fucking roller coaster. Look at him as a wild ride. And the shit he does. Hey, you want to try on this lingerie now? No? Your breath smells like shit. Why would you want her to try on the lingerie? You want to fuck her with stinky breath? Well, he has already. He doesn't have a choice. Not like he has choices. I know he has a new woman now. I don't know. How. Oh, I know how. TV. Instagram followers are enticing. One of the first things I noticed, even at the airport, you know, was her breath, but I didn't know how to bring it up. And I don't think she realizes it, but I do. No shit. I don't think anybody ever just willingly walks around with bad breath, idiot. If you can't do this the right way, imagine what he's gonna tell his kid like when his grandma dies. Okay, here's a DVD of the Bud Dwyer suicide video. Watch that real quick. You watched it? Okay, cool. You, oh, you're traumatized? You ever gonna have nightmares about him dying in your closet? Okay. Your grandma's not, um, pretty anymore. And then I got you good toothpaste. Somebody's not happy. But now I'm concerned. She's looking at it like it's an alien dildo. Do they not have dentists over there? Not like you're gonna be slinging fake filas and go to the dentist. Like the gall it would take to be living in a tin shack and being like, I have a dentist appointment. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting a root canal. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Do you know that um, my concern is your health? Because if you get disease in your mouth, it goes to your heart. You could get sick. You could get sick. It could kill you. That is a fact. That's a thing. It's actually not your concern, buddy. Where's the dental floss then? Dude, this toothbrush is going to break apart her teeth. Do, do you understand? He's talking to her like she's his shih tzu. Do you understand? Who's a good boy? I want to smack this privileged Oompa Loompa. I know what you mean, but this is my problem, my stomach, not my teeth. Oh, um, there's a ringtone of that available, links down below. Oh, really? I have an ulcer, you know. Willing to bet money. Ulcers don't do that. Let's find out. Fuck! You know, as I said it, I was like, you're wrong. This is how I make sure I'm right after the fact, you know? You're not gonna get that fixed? You're aware of the problem? And you wanna go to America? Hey, Ed, here's another red flag. What is this, number six? No, not Ed is not a person, he's a bull, the way he's running through these red flags. Oh, you have an ulcer? Yeah. Nothing? Not even, oh, uh, wow, I'm sorry to hear that. How'd that happen? No concern. He's like, man, I'm going to have to smell this forever, huh? Actually, I'm going to leave this bitch. This is the first time you're telling me you have an ulcer. I always toothbrush. Okay. Damn. This is a brutal thing to watch. Imagine being that. I mean, most people would never do this. Yeah, I brush my teeth every day, asshole. You think she's gonna try on the lingerie now? So now you tell me I understand. From my heart, I care about you. Liar! They usually tell more of the truth in the talking head interview. You know, like, like when he said, I don't think she notices her bad breath, but I do. I know. I'm so assaulted that I want to give a pants to Ed. And I be embarrassed. I want to give a punch to Ed. <laughs> I want to karate chop Ed. Right then, his no neck. Yeah, I don't blame you. There's a lot of women who would have just killed him. I watch a lot of police interrogations. Seen women push their husbands out of windows, zip up their man in a suitcase. Oh, don't forget stabbing, but you know, that's a little less unique than a suitcase. I think Ed is a good person. If Ed truly loved me, kailangan na lang tanggapin ni Ed. Kung ano ko. I love you. I love you. Pangit mo. I love you. Pangit mo. I love you. Please, I hope everything's okay. Did I fuck this up? Can I, can I join you in the shower? Does that mean I love you? I hope it means I love you. You don't know what I love you is in her native tongue? Yeah, let that deep breath out, boy. Drink that coffee. You'll feel better. It's not going to raise your anxiety. It might have been tea. I don't know. All I know is I wouldn't be drinking the tap water there. Okay, so this was old, right? I still, I don't know. I haven't came to that conclusion yet. This is old. He has a new woman now. But he's still a piece of shit. It's weird how many flaws he points out in people when everything he is is a flaw. Every aspect of him. Personality. Looks. What else do people have? His neck, lack of self-awareness. I mean, he knows what he looks like. So my guess, he's like, okay, I got to take this bitch down a couple pegs. If I could just get her at the legs, that'd be great. Because then she'd be handicapped and shorter than me. Comment down below what you guys think. Is No Neck at a piece of shit? Yes or absolutely. Why would you bring that up on a vacation? Why didn't you give her the toothpaste and the mouthwash in the tin can? Oh, I mean her house. I mean her shack which is also her storefront. I wonder what made them pick the sandal business. You know, there were a ton of shops there. How do you pick what thing you're gonna sell? Like who gets the fake Louis bags? Who gets the fake Fila sandals? I have no idea. Ed will never find true love ever in his entire life and he doesn't deserve to. 
But you do. Thank you so much for watching and listening everywhere, guys. I appreciate you so much. If I've ever made you laugh and you want to help support this channel, I actually have a Patreon with a Patreon podcast on patreon.com slash wineboxboppy. I'll be filming a new one soon. And that's the best way to directly support because YouTube fucking hates swears. And TLC loves to copyright claim. They just did it again yesterday. I actually just remembered they did it yesterday. I have to go send them a legal notice after this. Awesome. What does that legal notice say? If they want to keep my money, they have to sue me, which I hope they do, but they won't because I'd win. They love to copyright claim my tight little sweetness with no recourse. So like I said, if I've ever made you laugh and you want to help support this channel and fight back against YouTube's cute little swear policy and TLC copyright claiming my asshole, patreon.com slash wineboxpoppy. But if you can't or don't want to, I totally understand. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Let's keep that algorithm going, baby. We're going to hit 100K. Let's go. I love you. Mwah.